Mm. You already know. You already know what you need to do. You already know how to change your life. You already are the oracle. The answers you seek are already within. Happy November. Mm. Happy November. Every day, obviously, is an opportunity for us to change our lives, for us to feel better, for us to do the work we know we need to do. But I love to take advantage of this world of time that we're in and use a new month as motivation for whatever I need in my personal life. November especially, for me, is a time of reflection and motivation. Mm. The 11th month of the year is just such an amazing time for reflection, for you to look at yourself and all you've accomplished this year, everything you've gained, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, because it's, it's everything, right? And look at what you still know you need to do and release in your life. There's still two months in this year and I know it, it might not mean much, but 2022, our dreams are coming true. There's still the opportunity to take advantage of the momentum of this year. 60 days, lots can change. You can be in such a better place as we enter this new year. Mm, I know I want to feel good. Mm, I want to feel good just like I should. And I want that for you. I just wanted to share with you guys because I'm always kind of in this spiritual perspective and every different phase of the year brings an opportunity for, for that introspection, for you to look at your life with previous years and what you were going through this time last year and look at, like, really look at how much you've grown and how much you still want to shift yourself, you know, like the level up never ends, right? And Mm. I'm just so freaking grateful to be here and I'm so proud of myself and all the growth I've made in my personal life and I just hope you feel the same mm. I hope you feel the same this world is overwhelming this world is beautiful and I'm so grateful to be here <laughs> A little tip though, if you're not just constantly like in self-reflection mode, amazing ways to do it to help you kind of get into the introspection groove is you can do talk therapy, you can talk to the camera like I am or just put like a voice recorder on on your phone and just like rant and go off and talk to yourself in that way. You can journal and script, I love that. Channel through journaling all the time. You can go in your room and put some crazy music on and shake the shit out of yourself and just go in, go into your body that way and do tap therapy and pita therapy and there's, there's literally endless things and just even going on a a drive in the car is an amazing therapeutic tool. I cry in the car all the time and have spiritual insights in the car, you know. Endless ways to connect inward. 